man posing as Hawke's member arrested, and Malema Timmer's verdict tomorrow. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. The Hawks have arrested a 38-year-old man in Pretoria who was allegedly robbing people of money and their belongings, claiming to be a member of the Hawks. It's alleged that he was targeting mostly those people who were being investigated by the Hawks. It's not yet known how he was informed about the Hawks' investigations. The suspect originates from Mojaneng near Hamaskara, north of Pretoria. He was arrested in possession of a BMW X5 belonging to one of his victims. The suspect is facing charges of corruption and mortal theft. He will appear at the Van der Bell Magistrates Court on Friday. ANC Youth League leader Julius Malema will be absent when the verdict on his disciplinary hearing is announced tomorrow. The league says he will be writing examinations at UNISA's Bolokwane campus at the time. Other members of the leadership will be present to hear the disciplinary committee's verdict on the league's top five officials. University of South Africa political scientific professor Dinyuka Maluleka says with tomorrow's verdict, the ANC itself is on trial. Maluleka says the disciplinary committee of the ANC has also put itself in a tight corner. Not only Malima is in trial, so is the ANC. And so is the disciplinary committee, by the way, because the disciplinary committee last time around did say should Comrade Malima be found guilty of contravening section 25.5i, which has to do with sowing divisions and so on, then he will be summarily suspended or dismissed. The Justice Project South Africa has launched a petition calling for a ban on the use of blue lights except for law enforcement and emergency vehicles. The petition will be handed over to the Transport Minister next month. This after Gauteng Housing MEC Humphrey Mamezi's official vehicle knocked a teenager off his motorbike in Krugersdorp on the West Strand at the weekend. Witnesses say 18-year-old Thomas Ferreira was hit by Mamezi's vehicle after it drove through a red robot with its blue lights flashing. A case of reckless and negligent driving has been opened. The project's Howard Demboski. There are people who are of the opinion blue flashing lights means that they can drive how they like, force motorists off the road, act aggressively, run people over, shoot at people. Blue lights and sirens are required when responding to emergencies, and in most of these cases, the, the situations are not emergencies. And a woman has been killed and two others injured after a bucky crashed into a stationary vehicle near Vanderbilt Park in the Vowel. The injured have been taken to hospital. Your Attorney for spokesperson Vanessa Jackson. It was shortly after one o'clock this afternoon that our paramedics from the Vowel base were actually called to the N1 in the direction of Thunderbell Park where we believe that there was a green VW Jetta that was parked on the side of the road after they'd broken down. A bucky then came in the same direction and slammed into the back of the Jetta, and the Jetta was then pushed right off the road and landed in a ditch. Sadly, the woman that was driving died in the accident. She'd sustained quite extensive injuries, and there was nothing further that could be done for her.